and welcome back to my channel. Today I did another inspired look. Yes, I know, but I really enjoy looking at what other celebrities are wearing and then recreating it myself. Today I took inspiration from Candace Swanepoel, and yes, I did have to Google how to say her last name. I always forget. It is from this picture insert here. I really liked how she had a really pink glossy lip, so that's what drew me to this photo, and that's why I decided to recreate it. And this is the finished look. So if you want to see how I recreated Candace's look, then keep on watching. And here's the finished look. So if you guys want to see how I transform myself into Candace, then keep on watching. So I'm starting with my Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. Now going on with my CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous. Now going in with the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. Now going in with the BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Sculpt and Glow and I'm going to be using the yellow shade to conceal my under eyes. Now I'm going to be taking the NYX Stay Matte Not Flat and set my entire face. For my contour I'm going to go back in with the BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Sculpt and Glue and I'm going to be using this greyish shade. I'm also going to contour my nose. Skinny nose! I'm just going to gently go over it with my powder brush with no excess pa with, with no extra product just to blend out those lines a little bit. Brows! Now in the photo she has very put together brows so I'm going to go through with a spoolie first and then I'm with my Revlon Brow Fantasy. This is such an easy and lazy way to have really good put together brows, in my opinion. So you just go on with the pencil and then go after with the gel. Now in with the gel. Alright, now for the eyes. For the eyes, she she doesn't have too much going on, she's just got a little bit of darkness, so today I'll be using the Morphe 350 palette. I'm going to be using a combination of these shades down here, just to create that darkness and depth that Candace has in the photo that I'm using. So I'm also going to start by packing this lighter shade here, just as a base colour. Alright, now going in with one of those darker shades. I'm going to start with this lighter one here and put it all over my lid. And then I'll go in with this grey one and put it in the crease. Now I'll just take my blending brush and blend it up. On my blending brush, I'm going to take a little bit of this colour here and just put it in the crease just to darken it up a little bit. Alrighty, now mascara. She has gorgeous big lashes going on, so I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Six Mascara. Yes, honey, yes. Now for the rest of my face, I'm going to be going in with the Fifth Avenue Blush Compact in Berry Parfait. She has gorgeous, nice rosy cheeks, so that's what we're going to go for today. I'm going to go over top of that with the Maybelline New York Master Highlight by Face Studio.
Now with Max Soft and Gentle, I'm going to take that down the center of my nose and on my cupid's bow and a little bit on my brow bone. And a little bit on my cheeks. And for the final touch, lips. So I'm starting with the NYX, uh, NYX lipstick and this is in the shade Chloe. And over top, I'm going to go in with the Milani Lip Gloss in Nude Touch. Thank you. 